A Bemidji team will be representing Minnesota as our Minnesota Youth of the Year for the Boys and Girls Club of Minnesota. Reporter Sherelle Moore tells us what's next in this week's Community Spotlight. I'd say I'm a role model to some of these kids because I want to show them how amazing you can be if you just put your mind to it. Take a look at our new Minnesota Youth of the Year for the Boys and Girls Club of America. Her name is Ali Shemkis. I never thought I'd get here. I never thought I'd win Youth of the Year or even the state representative for the Youth of the Year. I never really thought that. And with the support of people in my family and at the club, they really helped me. They really pushed me. Ali has been going to the Boys and Girls Club for nine years. She's also been working at the club for the past three years. Her journey to Minnesota Youth of the Year started last fall. It started out in November uh, when Shelby Leftworth, our unit director, came to me saying, I have this award you can come do. And I've known about it in the past. I've just never really done it. And so she finally convinced me to do it. Ellie had to write three essays plus get three recommendation letters. She also had to come up with a three-minute speech. She recently made a trip down to St. Paul where she competed against seven other kids for the state title. In the end, she walked away with the crown. She says part of her personal brand is living by her three R's. It's respect, responsibility, and resilience. I am respectful towards everyone, anyone that comes into my life. I treat them how I'd love to be treated. And then I am responsible for myself and my actions, but I'm also responsible for others when time comes. But also I'm resilient through every obstacle life has put into my path. I have surpassed it. As a part of her win, Allie received scholarships worth a minimum of $15,000. She also got a plaque with her name on it, but she's not done yet. Next, she'll be heading to Chicago in July to compete for the regional title. I would love to put my best effort towards that, and if I don't win, that's okay. I'm okay with that, but if I do win, I think it would be amazing. I would love that. It would be the best thing in the world, really. Reporting in Bemidji with this week's Community Spotlight, Sherelle Moore, Lakeland News. Boy, she has got it figured out. Youth of the Year for, for good reason. Yeah, congratulations to her. Yeah. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.